Uh, this exercise is appropriate for those of you that are six weeks post rotator cuff repair of the front tendon. Um, also for those of you that have had a primary total shoulder replacement. Um, or for those of you that are stabilizing, sorry, are, are performing exercises following a stabilization. Um, or generally after a rotator cuff repair just to balance the back tendon out with the front tendon. So it's got quite a few applications. The exercise is internal rotation strengthening to strengthen up the tendon in the front subscapularis. Um, using an exercise cord with a knot in it, um, I'd encourage you to place that in the door. Close the door, just make sure it's nice and secure. No one's going to open the door. Um, stand with your elbow into your side. Um, don't have your elbow back. Bring it right forward so that there's good leverage and basically you're going to bring your forearm in to meet the fist of your opposite hand and hold for the count of three and then come back slowly. Um, you're very welcome to let your forearm go out as far as is comfortable. Um, bring it back in holding for the count of three. It's really important to control coming back a lot of you are going to be quite shaky, and that's fine, but really try and control that as best you can. This is the type of exercise where I'm happy for you to do 10 reps. Um, you can do a couple of sets if you want to. It's a sort of exercise you can do three or four times a day. And once again, with any of my rehab, I think uh, having two days on, one day off is the way to go. That's internal rotation or strengthening the front of the shoulder.